So I'm trying this one again. Um, a lot of glare on the glasses. <coughs> I tend to ramble on if I'm not careful. So I'm going to try to be careful here. Okay, so first thing I want to say is evolutionary biologists in regards to human evolution had it wrong. They were wrong. Let that sink in a little bit. They didn't have it right. Okay, that being said, creationists out there, don't start jumping up and down for joy. The fact that they are wrong says nothing about whether or not human evolution occurred. Or didn't occur should be the operative word here. Humans evolved, period. We know that. We have sufficient fossil evidence supporting that, as well as genomic evidence, molecular evidence, etc. But even knowing that we evolved from an earlier ancestor that was more primitive um, and share a common ancestor with chimpanzees and then farther back a common ancestor with gorillas and orangutans, we were still wrong about certain aspects of these ancestors. When Australopithecus Afri uh, was found, the Lucy specifically, it showed a, a bipedal hominid that had very thick enamel teeth, was obviously a complete hominid, and the surrounding fossil liferous soil showed evidence of a grassland environment. This fit with the uh, original hypothesis that bipedality, walking on two legs, was a result of a, of our common, last common ancestor moving into a grassland environment. Standing up on two legs to see over the grass, perhaps it freeing his hands to carry objects, etc. Strong selective pressures, we thought. Now, with Artipithecus ramidus, aka Artie, we've learned that that was wrong. Artie was a hominid. She had a pelvis and thighs and feet, though the feet were much different than ours, specifically derived to be bipedal. So when Artie wasn't in the trees, when she was on the ground, she would have walked on two legs, just like us. Now notice I mentioned trees, because here's the kicker. This is why they were wrong. Examination of the soils that Artie was found in gives us a completely different view of the environment in which Artie lived. These soils, the fossiliferous bed, was sandwiched between two volcanic ash layers, both dated to approximately 4.4 million years. Now, this doesn't mean these ashes were laid down at the same time, only that given the amount of error that is in any dating method, in this one specifically, that they were laid down sometime within the within 10,000 or 50,000 years of each other. So we know when Artie died to within 10,000 to 50,000 years, give or take. Now, don't be too pedantic pendantic about these um, rough figures. I'm just going from memory here, and I may be a little off, but I can tell you it's around those times. Okay, continuing with Artie. The soils that Artie was found in show a completely different environment than what than the soils that Lucy were, was found in. With Artipithecus, we find fossilized wood. We find uh, fossilized millipedes and gastropods, snails. We find other fossil animals, a large number of birds, and two other primate species. Specifically primate species that have uh, one's more or less terrestrial, but the other one prefers an arboreal habitat because their descendants are still here with us today. Now, 
with all this evidence, plus chemical evidence in the dentition of Artie, because what you eat is what you are, we know that Artie lived in a very forested environment, a more a wetter environment than the open grasslands and plains of Africa. It shows us at this point, at 4.4 million years, Artie was a biped that lived in the forest instead of living in grasslands, which completely falsifies the original hypothesis, the long-held view that human bipedality was somehow caused directly by our, our ancestors moving into a grassland environment. So that's just a quick little commentary about Artie. I have more coming in the future. I'll be talking specifically about uh, things like her hip joints um, and other physical aspects of Artie here because they've um, revealed some interesting things. But in the end, yes, evolutionary biologists regard in regards to human evolution were wrong. But there's nothing wrong with being wrong. In fact, finding out that you're wrong can actually lead you closer to being right and learning a lot more about what you didn't know. Okay, have a good day.